that's not the case, but that would definitely say something about where Dota is right now, if it is going to be that greedy kind of a game. It could be, very well be. L little mini heal bomb right there comes out from my control to soften up. But uh, GH is hanging nearby. Uh, does not get the connection with that heal. But Soul Ring and Arcane Boots, he can dish these out all day. SG are trying to form themselves up into a possible position to make an approach, but uh, yeah, as you mentioned before, Omni Knight is just a bit too tough. Yeah. And look at mid. I mean, Shadowfin just hitting that tower I continuously, mean, and nothing him happens. Bring it down this low before. I mean, that's the that's the kind of game when you're going against a tree, though. Yeah, it's so annoying to play against tree, and especially like when you're trying to siege tier three tower bottom lane. Yeah, there's a fight breaking out here. Boulder Smash comes out from King RD to kind of zone them back, but Mind Control casually walks in and hits him with the heal. Jug. Trying to dish out damage onto Matumba Man, but the Repel will shrug off all of that Blade Fury damage. But the follow-up play coming in from Tavo with a hook shot nails it to him. And now the Omni Slash to fly Blame will give the better fight to SG. Uh, nice play by SG. They were hook shot was ready right on uh, Wisp, and uh, he was just saving uh, Omni Slash after the Guardian Angel is used. Felt like Meanwhile, it was going to be a good fight. Played. Yeah, it didn't look like it was going to be a good fight for SG. Yeah, but it did. It did. I mean, that's the thing is you also have to play around the Terra Blade, who's not in fighting shape yet. Oh, I missed that one. But Tavo gets the kill on Matama Man, who just returned to the lane. Cog, bump back, Liquid on the Prowl. But, you know, again, not a whole lot of stuns, not a whole lot of catch. They're trying to get Mind Control close enough to maybe slow him down. He's got that level 3 Degen Aura. But look how fast this monster is. Miracle rushing in with the haste rune. Takes it right to the jug, but the jug has TP'd away. Yeah, but the Crystal Maiden was at uh, tier 1 tower in forest, just trying to kill the tower, but it was being pinged out by by Liquid, and then just Kuroki used the... Uh... Matumaman dies again in the mid lane. I catch that one, but... Uh... Oh my gosh, this is ruthless now coming out from SG. This strike down... Like Radiance three back to back hard hitting kills attack. on Liquid. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. Terrorblade 1 0 to tower. Pretty much free farming. Uh, SG got some kills, but uh, it's gonna be hard when uh, they group up as five. Once they get more levels on Terrorblade, Omni Knight for that uh, extra repel, it's only level one so far. Dyer's top tower. Fallen. Quite surprising already, SG, a team that I don't even know, this is certainly the most prestigious LAN event they've ever been to, I'm sure, in their Dota careers. A lot of them have been experienced and played in the Dota scene for quite a long time, and maybe have played at a couple of locals, or, you know, lower tiered LANs, but you know, making the most out of this opportunity here, a Swiss format, as a lot of people know, every game is super important, and uh, Liquid will be able to at least bounce back with a little bit of a pick here. Just a simple King RD takedown while he's planting some wards. But they want more than that. They see a juicy and delicious 40R Shadow Fiend nearby. Matama Man just a bit too far if you want to get a swap setup. Yeah, Shadowfin decides to go for uh, Yasha after Dragonlance and wants to go for Manta, which is kind of obvious uh, when you're playing against Treant. You can uh, Manta out of his ulti. You can dodge Venge Stun. It's pretty good because they don't have any control. Uh, seems like Earth Spirit's going for Midas. He's only 100 gold away from it. Oh, he is going for Midas. All right. Yeah. Preparing and anticipating a longer game here. Roll on in, waiting to line up the shot, drops it down, kick, no, not nothing, they're not looking to commit too hard, or at least Liquid able to kind of create a lot of extra space between them and SG. But there will be no chase here, it looks like, so Liquid avoid the yeah. trouble there, SG are the better team in a team fight at the moment. There is still no Earth Spirit ulti used 15 minutes in. I, I kind of feel one. that... Yeah, they you've seen one? one it was just a right. solo kill on Matama Man. It wasn't exciting. It wasn't an exciting ulti, so we can half count it. All right, my bad. But uh, still, I, I kind of feel about Earth Spirit uh, right now. He doesn't gain so much levels early, and he pretty much 
is under leveled. I mean, not under leveled because of his bad play, but because of the Dota right now, because they sacked experience, they they nerfed it. So I don't think he has that uh, huge impact Ooh, around 10 to 15 minute back, mark. Moving in, but SG were also waiting with their own moves. King RD rolls in, gets off a huge magnetize. A Guardian Angel is going to be forced out as SG look to kind of round about, but they've split their fight apart, looking to go for Matama Man and company, while the rest of Liquid have just muscled through the rest of SG Esports. Can't forget about the Metamorphed Miracle. He just does utter destruction to SG, and only the Jug will be able to make it out alive. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing about uh, Liquid's lineup. Once they go as five... You need so much things to focus on. Overgrowth, Wisp, uh, Omni Knight. There's so much spells. Like, y you can't really kill anyone. That's the thing. They only managed to kill Omni Knight and lost four there. It looked like a wonderful opportunity for SG to kind of just really break open the game as the approach was there by Liquid, and it looked like SG had the favorable positioning. They were in high ground. They even popped the smoke a bit early, but, you know, with Liquid already spotting out uh, exactly where... 40R was. They got the good swap, and uh, yeah, unfortunately, the flight just got totally split apart. SG were not able to kind of find the the right focus that they wanted. That could have been, you know, due to the juggernaut just omni slashing away to a different part of the fight, and then others focusing on Matumba Man. Yeah, omni slash was even th even used that fight. I mean, it's gonna be a different story once uh, juggernaut gets that uh, diffusal blade. He can't purge uh, repel anymore, but he can purge guardian angel. Kuro getting all sorts of sweet information here. Happens to be scouting by as SG will be able to rid of that ward. He will TP out. Oh, they almost got him by cogs. Very close, but nah, not on this day. SG shove it back to him. They still hold a 5k net worth advantage overall, but... Uh, Liquid got to feel pretty good after that previous fight. Their Terror Blade is now beginning to bulk up pretty nicely here with his Dragon Lance and Yasha now complete. A Manta is going to be in order for him. So SG just kind of get back to the grind here, pop up a smoke, and begin to head up north. But Mind Control's already on the way out. Sort of he is um, decked out, man. <laughs> oh, this is the, like, Midas gaming. Yeah. I mean, uh, SG has two Midas's ready. So far, so they're not that strong right now, but they'll be strong in the next five to ten minutes. As she feel the pressure and uh, maybe recognizing the greedy play coming out from Liquid, they are hoping to punish him for it. They do manage to spot out an Omni Knight and take him out of the game before anything could be cast. Yeah, good scouting by Tao there, good rocket GH player. also tried to relocate, save him, and uh, I don't know if they're going to try to get the finish, but no, they're not. Come back All and right. uh, I'll let him go. Back to farming. Yeah, Omni Slash used, back to farming. Juggernaut wants that Manta style so he can get out of uh, Tree and Talti. Shadow Fiend getting close to it as well. I don't know. Are we still feeling really confident here for SG at this point in the game? Like, uh, it's nice for them to be able to kind of begin to move forward. You're taking Tier 2s, and you're doing it against a tree lineup. So taking the extra objectives earlier on would be nice before he becomes too much of a problem. He already has a level 4 done on the living armor now, but... I don't know. It's a very intriguing lineup here because it does begin like it's going to be falling more onto the shoulders of just Miracle at this point. How is Matoma well, been doing? Isn't it always like that? Yes, yeah. Yeah. Well, he has his Manta style in 500 gold, so that's going to be huge as well to deny some, some of the damage from Jug ult. On the other hand, Crystal Maiden kind of under farm. She's buying everything, giving uh, Earth, space, uh, Earth Spirit a lot of space. And uh, I suppose Jug Content with his uh, diffusal pickup here, has a Yasha to potentially build for, you know, Manta or such, but no cleave to help with the illusion army here. Ooh, ooh, Tavo, oh. hook, long shot though, it is gonna connect. Valiant effort, and a nice try, but they will be able to get the tag, and this wow. metamorphed Terrorblade is just gonna run through the bottom lane and run through the jungle, it looks like. 
Well, Maiden could have saved him there if she popped the smoke. Oh, maybe. <sighs> Mind if, uh, yeah, maybe if she. Uh, that would have been next level for sure. That would have been pretty, pretty ridiculous to disjoint the projectiles, but unfortunately, uh, no one can think as fast as you. Yeah, Omni Knight, uh, 20 XP gain talent combined with Midas gets even more experience. Uh, he's level 14 right now. Let's check the levels. Yeah, he's level 15 right now, so top 3. Not bad. Oh, yeah. Only uh, the Shadow Fiend to kind of be above everyone else. Getting the Roche, it looks like here. Yeah. yeah, they they committed to Roche because of the double damage, but even if there was no double damage, they would still go for it because Metamorphosis was used. So you, this is the thing about Terror Blade. I mean, the hero is pretty useless when the ter when the Metamorphosis is down, so you need to be careful with using it. I mean, they got a kill on uh, Clockwork, and uh, SG got uh, Roche in return, so... Now, Not what can uh, SG do within this window of time when they know there's no metamorphosis to worry about it looks like they've been taking more of the time to farm up but uh yeah it you, know, you would like to see from them to be able to kind of make the most out of those opportunities where metamorph is going to be kind of put in play perhaps a bit early but here now they creep through that top lane liquid not looking to let them get too deep which they already do have a pretty deep ward already planted but Back to the roots and runs here for SG. Where is their item progression at that they could be holding out for here before? Making well, their move Blink together? Dagger on Earth Spirit. Shadow Fiend wants to go for Pike. Clockwork working uh, towards um, his Aghanim Scepter. I mean, Clockwork is fat. They have two Midas's, so both Clock and Earth Spirit is going to have a good late game items. Only CM is going to be pretty much piss poor, but. Someone's got to be piss poor, though. Yeah, someone's got to be. And it's going to be Crystal Maiden here. Smoke play, maybe a bait out for 40R in the mid lane. The rest of SG begin to make their move up and through this mid lane. Liquid members, not too close. So Shadow Fiend will confidently move through. Liquid looking at the map, kind of like, where is everyone else on this map? And this could be read as a pretty easy bait opportunity. They drop down... A sentry deep behind the tower to see if they can scout out where Kuro is. Top but turns into an easy Dyer's Siege 2. And uh, Liquid just kind of split the pressure elsewhere. Well, with two four staffs uh, on side of uh, SG, one on Clock, one on Shadowfin, the, they can really kite around because they don't have any catch. Especially if meta is used, they can just try to run away and then come back after it's gone. Yeah, it's going to have to be on SG to kind of make sure that Liquid can't use that metamorphosis and easily follow it up with objective takedowns. I don't know if that means that SG need to kind of make sure all the lanes are pushed forward or, you know, take fights on Liquid's side of the map. But you do not want to have Liquid come too far and deep into SG's territory, take a great fight, and then still have plenty of metamorph time to kind of take a Rax or something crazy like that, so... Let's see what Liquid kind of do with their timing right now. Metamorph is up, and it looks like they pretty much all congregated down here to the bottom lane. They had already taken the tier 1 down here, so maybe that means SG will least, least, least likely suspect them down here. 40R hiding within the trees is close to potential trouble, but it looks like Liquid could be waiting for more members or possibly anticipating company behind him. Oh, Tava walks in, pops out the dust to see where Kuro is. And he just gets shredded again. This time a pull through from a grip. There goes King RD. Miracle though is able to Manta off the silence. Go into Metamorph. Omni Slash is going to be committed. Magnetize is still out, but not enough firepower. Miracle will walk in, just did the casual Sunder. And the rest of Liquid will pull off so they can get some heals out here. Not enough firepower yet from SG to go for the finish. He wants GH, can't quite get it. And 40R had committed too hard for that kill and has lost oh, his Aegis and has also lost his Crystal Maiden. Now as he comes back for his second life, he eats a lot of damage and has to just rush out between the trees here. Does have a TP. No, he doesn't. That's not his TP. What TP is that? Oh, now it's available. Yeah, it was it in is. his backpack. It's in stash. Yeah, okay, backpack. switched it in. Now he needs to pray. There's no way he's making it out from here. They get the root and they get the finish. Liquid get it done. The rest of SG have already pulled out from that fight long ago. 
and have tried to pressure all the other lanes as much as possible. Well, that Clockwork is dying really fast. That was a good dust from Clock. He scouted the Treant and got swapped instantly, and he just got blown from all the damage. I mean, Terror Blade in meta near the Vengeance Aura. He just he's just a beast, and uh, yeah, I think. Clockwork items are not so good. He should have gone for Medallion instead and tried to work uh, towards uh, Solar Crest instead. Yeah. Instead, straight to the Ags potentially here for Little yeah. Tavo at this moment. But they pull off for now. After Liquid took a good successful fight, the Metamorph, of course, has expired. And uh, they look like they're feeling confident to be in a position yes, where they can continue play. to farm up and just kind of play that game. With uh, what looks like a Scotty in order here for Miracle, he could be getting to a point where it's almost unstoppable. There just seems to be so much sustain for him that is making life very difficult for SG to be able to take out their powerhouse hitter. Look at the courier at the Team Liquid side. It's in the base. Like It's full pipe. It's uh, full uh, pike. Oh. It's almost a mech. It's fully maxed out, which is shit now, so get that thing out there. Alright, there it goes. Yeah, there's a lot of goodies in there. Hurricane Pike done, yeah. Alright, this could be what the the ticket that Liquid were waiting for here. We have to see if SG have some more fight in them, though, to kind of rein this game back their way. They may still hold the net worth lead, but with, I would say, one more decent fight for Liquid, Dyer's this game is... is uh, the ball's pretty much in their court Dyer's at that point. Yeah, Wisp is on the bottom, Mech finished in 30 gold. This is like the fifth attempt to try to take a tier 1 tower on bottom, and it's uh, full HP again. And they don't even get close enough to even try to tag it some more. They pull all the way out once they see some rotations coming from Liquid. And uh, Liquid will take their journey towards the mid lane to match up against SG. Wherever SG go, they're looking to follow, it would appear. Yeah, it's Scotty plus uh, full Manta, full Pike, and double damage in bottle for Terror Blade, and they want to group up now and push. So do it already here, SG. I'll take that do it already, time. Liquid. SG, uh, obviously not looking to kind of lock horns with Liquid at the moment, but uh, it looks like Liquid are heeding your advice and. To the mid lane they go here. The tier 1 should be some pretty easy work for them. And we'll have to see if SG bother even taking a fight at this point. But the Metamorph is out. Metamorph plus the overcharge of this Wisp is, is really going to be damage. something else. Yeah, look at this. Double damage. It's oh 600 damage. Oh my blade. god. This is going to be crazy. Hold on to your horses, folks. Is GH going to lock him up? No, he's not even going to get the over... Okay. That illusion's dead. Alright. Now do it. Go for it. GH is like, yeah, you G yeah, 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 there you go. <laughs> oh my god. Locks him in, takes him down, and uh, boom. See you later, Crystal Maiden. Yeah, Miracle's the problem. Look at him go. And now pops his Manta, and now goes in for the Tier 3, and suddenly SG don't know what the hell hit them. It was a truck. Tier 3's gone. Rack should be next. How dare you try to oppose the mighty Terror Blade. Jug is going to be forced to move into action, but the second they try to make a call to fight, the Guardian Angel will get popped. It will cost Omni Slash his... or uh, Omni Slash... Omni Knight his life, but a Diffuse comes in very ha good handy there for the Jug. They're fighting it off right now and doing some decent work, and Liquid's going to be forced to step back. A relocate play is there to get Miracle back to the safe zone, but I imagine on GH's return, he's going to be taken care of. Boom. Bam. Well, they got the tier 3 tower, almost killed melee raxes. I mean, that was pretty much expected once you saw Terror Blade with that double damage. And once they go as 5, uh, there was a few buybacks. Uh, who was it? Shadowfin and the plus 1, I think. Uh, so, look at Shadowfin's uh, item progression. Like, you can't uh, see any items for the past, like, 10 minutes. It's the same items. He had Manta and Pike at the 20 minute mark. The growth and of the FSG has been totally stunted at this point. Incoming. 
And uh, I don't know what you look to do at this point here. I mean, there's more tools kind of slowly coming in as they've had the benefit of the Midas's on their side. We're seeing, like, Blink on King RD and such, and the Ag's finally done on the Tavo, but these tools don't feel very effective at all. It feels like Liquid is just kind of holding on to all of the real damage, everything focused and kind of surrounding their mighty miracle god here. Whether it be damage auras or more sustained relocate saves, guardian angels. Yeah, the only big item that it's done, it's uh, Mjolnir on Juggernaut, who's level 21. The Juggernaut is uh, really tanky, has 29 armor. But let me see Miracle item. He's going for that Eagle Song, Butterfly. Let me see if Shadow Fiend. Show oh, Shadow Fiend. He still doesn't have enough for MKB nor Butterfly. Boom, there it goes. Yeah, he might just kind of hold this money here. Maybe if Miracle shows that he's going for a Butterfly, he might change things up and consider going for the MKB. But uh, as of right now, we'll just kind of pocket the money here. Eyes towards the Roche. As it is up, and SG know this could be one of their few hopes to kind of stay relevant in this game one, is claiming this Aegis and having the extra life, but Liquid already onto him here. A jump in comes out from Tavo, and they get a nice quick isolated pick onto Matumba Man. He could buy back, and he will, and teleport back into the shrine. SG thinking twice now about committing in for this Roche. Yeah, they need to go back from, from that Roche SG right now. I mean, they, they can't fight into that. Liquid just taking themselves. Oh, I say that, but then King RD casually rolls on in. Pops out the Magnetize, but a Guardian Angel is going to be there. More follow-up continues here from Tavo as he jumps in with a hookshot play, but they cannot get the finish. Miracle just continues to stand with that, within the pit and says that he is the real boss here. He even dishes out a casual, supportive Sunder to Kuro to keep him alive and gets right back into the action and gets his hands dirty with a delicious ultra kill. Godlike now. Holy moly. You don't want to fight into that. Like, It's a terror blade who just finished a butterfly and uh, they kill Roche in a few seconds with the Solar Crest on Omni Knight. It just dies so fast. I mean, this game is pretty much over. Doesn't matter if there's backdoor. Miracle goes right inside. Didn't even need really to use a whole lot. Metamorph has still got some good timing on it. To finish out that mid lane. And for them to be able to make some work happen here at the bottom lane. This could be yeah, it. And SG could be thinking about game number two already. They're fighting the back door. Killing the Raxus. Alright, jump in from Jug. Let's see what last hopes SG have here to stay alive. They hit him a little bit, but easily shrugged off by the sustain and defensive capabilities of Liquid here. Not too much water off their back. They will get down their Tier 3 and just walk away. Big winners here. Liquid take their first set of racks, and it is looking desperate for SG. And look at this. Now it's going to be Liquid, the team, to pull out the smoke back play. Yeah, this is the VP from the last game. Mm -hmm. There's no tower, but there is a center ward. They want to close it out right now. Ah, a little C4T. Didn't even know what hit him. And they get the Courier, too. Now with Crystal Maiden taken out of the game, certainly Liquid will be able to finish it. Am I right? <laughs> nice prediction. Here we go. They should be able to get this Rax, but they pop the Glyph, and all that backdoor regen is going to be there. Pops out now. Tava moves in, catches with a hook shot, and Liquid are going to be forced back. On the other front, though, is Jug. Now far from home, Miracle dishes out the right clicks and then Curl pops him in the head with the stun and that's going to be the game with Jug taken out without a buyback. There is no hope for SG in game number one and it is going to be Liquid who take it. Yeah, they just uh, needed the time to for their lineup to kick in. They needed levels, they needed some items, we got the pipe up, we got the... Uh, Items on Terrorblade. I mean, Terrorblade didn't die the whole game. Uh, and the, the most important part, uh, this Triant was doing God's work uh, with those scouts. I mean, you can't pop that much dust. I mean, even if you catch him there and he dies, uh, that's just it. I mean, maybe you can push a tier 1 tower and uh, that's it. Once they gather as 5, they become unstoppable force.